and welcome to another Free Willist webisode. Yes, I'm bringing another declutter. You know, that's going to take over my videos for a while because I need to reorganize my life and my collection. And the faster I get through that, the better for me and for all of you. Uh, but if you see in these videos uh, any product that you want me to be more thorough by, about, to talk more about, if you want to see it performing on my skin, how I use it, all that, just let me know in the comments. I'll gladly do a video on that by the way but anyway today my blushes are going through the chopping block and spoiler alert I did very well in my opinion I hope everything is in focus as usual I struggle a bit with that but I hope everything is in focus and that you enjoy this video and without any further ado oh before I go I will ask you if you haven't subscribed and you're enjoying my videos please consider doing so and leave me thumbs up at the end of the video Interact with me in the comments, come and chat with me on Instagram at The Frivolous. And without further ado, let's roll the tape. It's not taping, it's digital. I know I'm old. <laughs> so I'm going to go through each product, let you know uh, how I feel about each one of them and if it's staying or not in my life. Probably there there won't be many uh, products that will stay in the chopping block just because I'm a bit more assertive with my blushes. Just letting you know, I thought I wasn't a blush person, and then I went through all my drawers looking for what I had, and uh, I'm a disappointment to myself. <laughs> Let's get through this. First ones in here: Solmona, Solmona. Uh, collection from Auden's Eye. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. It's a language I'd love to learn. Uh, these are very recent, uh, very recent acquisition in my life. I showed them on Instagram. So we have here Sienna Luster Warm Sun, which is this apricot color, and the pink is Sunset Clouds. I like all of them. I thought on the pictures, Sienna Luster looked a bit more nudey. I think even on this uh, on this video, it will look a bit more nudey than it is. It's a bit closer to the corally peachy colors um, that I'm not the biggest fan of, but because it's a, a shimmery blush, I'll forgive that. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it, of course, and they're really recent, so I'm gonna give them good goes. These two are mattes and they're really beautiful. They work really beautifully on the skin. Pretty pigmented so you don't need much which makes me think this could have been easily half the size and we would still be very satisfied paying half the price of course uh, with with the blushes and also I wish we could pop them out and put them in palettes because the packaging is gorgeous but it's so bulky and you can't see which one is which until you turn them around. So, yeah. But these are staying. Another easy one. Danessa Myrick's uh, Dewy Cheek and Lips Palette. Mine is in Do It Undercover. I've raved about this. This is not for everybody. Especially people with oily skin will probably feel a bit icky <laughs> about this kind of product. Uh, it does have a very sheeny finish on the skin which I personally love in certain occasions of course. Um, the colors blend beautifully, there's no patchiness. It does have a texture that is a bit more sticky but it's sticky in a good way. It's not slidey so it's sticking to your face and it's really long wearing despite being a balm kind of blush. Um, which would be one of those that would fade easily if you were wearing it on its own, but not this one. This lasts a long time without setting on the cheeks because of being sort of tacky to the touch. The only thing is, for me, I don't have a problem with that because most of the times I wear my hair up, but if, if it's windy out there, if you don't wear your hair up, you probably would not adore this. I would say that they would be more friendly to the buyer if they had divided this in eight pans and give us the eight shades they came up with in this formula because there's too much product. I'm not a makeup artist, so this for me, I'm not gonna go through this most certainly before it expires, which gives me so much anxiety because I love this and I don't want to waste it. Anyway, 
staying, of course. Now, ooh, I have... I have these pretties right here. These are Colour Colourpop Super Shop Cheek Blushes. One of them is completely expired and I have a double of it, which is Rain. And I, unlike 99% of humanity, it seems, really like these cool toned uh, blushes on my skin tone and they're super hard to find. Uh, this one is old as frack. Uh, it's completely gone off but I had bought a second one which I started using but it since has started to dry up and I'm not going to keep it although I love this color. I love this color and it looks great on your cheeks and like what you may think or at least on my cheeks. <laughs> but yeah, these are gonna go. The same with these two. This color, Aphrodisiac, is one of those unicorn nudes for me. It's the perfect nude. It has enough beige, pink, not much um, peach or coral, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I like an apricotty, an, an apricotty color. I don't love the peach color on me, but this is one of those perfect nudes for me. It's still it's still going strong. I've hit pan, but it can still be used. It, it is dry, and hopefully I have something to replace it with, so I'm going to get rid of it. Ugh, pain. And this one also, this is Cheerio, and is one of those flushed cheek kind of colors. It's really pretty, but it's not at its best right now. These have lasted me a long time, don't get me wrong, these are way past the use-by kind of date. Just just letting you know, it's just, it's their time, it's their time. This is more recent, I wanted to try the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized finish. This color is No Way, which was the only pearlized color that on the website looked nude. But again, it is a corally sheen. It is a beautiful formula. It's fairly recent. I'm going to give it a few more goes. Um, I'm not going to get rid of it right away, but you can see when you were looking for this and you came up, they came up with this, you're kind of like, ah, I want this in a sheeny, sheeny finish. Can we, can we? Of course, Aphrodisiac, I, I think, is already, has already been discontinued. It's impossible to keep up with Colourpop shades. Now, let me put this here. I'm sorry. It's easier for me. I know there's more of you. There you are. Another one. Okay. Can you tell? <laughs> this is one of my favorite formulas. When Becca went out of commission, Sephora did a huge sale and I got these for, I think, under 10 euros each. And I already had a couple of them. So here they are. This one is, let me, here. this one is Tiger Lily, this beautiful bright orange. This one is Blushed Copper. This is Snapdragon, which is a coral. This one is Wild Honey. This is their mineralized, no, mineral blush. All these, the other ones are Luminous. These are luminous blushes, only this one is the mineral blush. It's a different finish. And this one is Dahlia. And this one is Camellia. And I love them all. I love this formula from Becca because the luminous blushes, they don't look shimmery PC. They don't emphasize your pores. Of course, it is a glowy blush, so there's always that, but they don't overemphasize your pores. They look just like a glossy cheek, but with the advantage of being a powder, which for us people with oily skin sometimes is something that we really want. But I've come to realize there are some shades that I'm not using, so I'm going to get rid of them. Pray for me, this is going to be really hard. So, the first one that is going to go is uh, Blushed Copper. It's too dark for me. So, oh, 
these little pieces. This one is going. The other one I'm not using is, of course, a Tiger Lily, which is a bright orange. And I'm, I'm going to get rid of Snapdragon also because it is a coral, and I don't do much coral in my life. And I'm going to keep these three. This mineral blush in um, Wild Honey is absolutely gorgeous. Again, one of those nudie colors. Um, it has a bit of warmth to it, um, but it still is really on the nudie side. Love it. And uh, oops, almost went the wrong box. And this Camellia is my favorite color. I did um, a Lisa Eldridge lipstick challenge video with this color. It's just gorgeous on the cheeks. It makes you look alive, you know? It's one of those. It's a beautiful, bright pink, but it's really flattering, and it looks like you have just flushy, glossy cheeks. And this one, which is Dahlia, oop, got dirty, is a deeper, kind of more berry shade. Ugh. And these slide, glide like dreams. It's beautiful. Okay, these three, these three from, from Colourpop, I didn't get along with this formula, I tried. These are the serum blushes, I was so hopeful this would be amazing, but they don't, they don't agree, at least with my skin or with my makeup, I don't know. The colours look amazing when you, when you apply them onto your skin, just a blob of the colour looks delightful, they look super dewy, these won't be for those who don't like sticky stuff. But then as soon as you start to work them into the skin, they just fade and they move the product underneath. So they move any kind of um, coverage that you may have. For many people, this may not be an issue and you can even use this on uh, bare skin. But I like to have some coverage on my hyperpigmentation, which is precisely on my cheeks. So although I love these colors, this does not do it for me. It does leave a bit of a glow that sets, which is gorgeous. Everything is a, about this is perfect, except for the fact that the pigmentation disappears. And although these aren't that old, um, this one, Instant Crush, is starting to separate on me. What is this? Dang it. Anyway, these are going. The same with this one. This is the Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush in Nude Burn. I've talked about this. It sounds amazing, you know, sheer gel cream blush. <laughs> wow. But then, same thing. It moves the, the products underneath. Uh, it picks up and slides around with them, and it doesn't have much pigmentation. It ends up kind of fading into nothing or looking really blotchy. So going. <sighs> These two. I don't care for Glossier as a brand. They don't care for Europe <laughs> as a market. So fair is fair, I guess. Um, but I have to rave about their cloud paints. These work really well on me, on my skin. They last enough. They have just the right amount of uh, pigment, but they blend really well. And Dusk is, again, another unicorn nude for me. It's, it's so frustrating that I can't find a direct dupe for this color. It just has the right amount of beige and rosy and pink without going into the corally color. It's still warm without going into coral or peach. I love this color. These are way... <laughs> way expired probably but the product is still fine it doesn't smell the texture is the same as I bought it um, and you can't get this in Portugal I had a friend bring this to me from the UK and puff is beautiful pink also I shouldn't but I'm gonna keep them and especially the dusk color even if I don't wear it I'll keep it as a reference to try to find the dupe I've been looking for it haven't found it till today. If you have a mega dupe, let me know. It, it will be our secret, I guess. Now, <laughs> within the same subject, 
This was The Dupe, but this is from Primark, and their collections last less than Colourpop's, so it doesn't exist anymore. This is uh, the Super Cheeky Cheek Tint Sherbet Crush. If you've seen this on my channel, you're an OG watcher, because this is that old. And it's, it's again, that perfect nude with a bit of brown, a bit of beige, a bit of pink. It's so close to the Colourpop, ah, oh, there it is, so close to the Colourpop Dusk. It's perfect, but I mean, I'm not going to keep another expired product in my collection just because. So this one is going, it served its purpose. I still have plenty inside, but yeah, Jesus. Why can't we get one of these? Why? Why? Why don't brands do more of these colors? Why? <laughs> now, these two. These are recent acquisitions. I love them. Uh, these are Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Melting Color Bomb Cheek and Eyes. Uh, and I have mine in colors uh, 21, which is this beigey brown. Uh, and number 22, which is a bit more of a burnt terracotta brown with a bit more red in it. It's not that terracotta. It's not that orange. I love these colors. These are so unusual and I'm kind of into buying the number 20 also, but mm, I'm trying to restrain myself. You can ask, but isn't that a bronzer? Close enough, but not that much. Uh, it has that kind of good amount of liveliness that makes it not a blush in itself. It is pretty nudie, as you can see, and this is more your cheeks in the sun kind of color. So these are gorgeous, these are stain. These two are a testament to my quest to find <laughs> the goddamn uh, dupes for the um, Glossier uh, blushes. This is by Juicy Pang. These are, are their blushes. I would tell you the colors, but I don't think they are in English. I got this through Yes Style. And these are beautiful. They look gorgeous, but they don't last on my skin. They give you a very beautiful, sheeny, glowy cheek. They're a true liquid. The colors are so complementary to my skin tone. They do not last, so I'm going to get rid of them because I'm not using them. This one has had an appearance. Uh, uh, you've seen me chop this off. This is Milk Lip and Cheek Stick in Quickie. What a name. And I think many people run away from... Run away? Oh, no! Many people... Ugh. Many people run away from this because it is a, such a dark color. But when you blend it out, it gives you that perfect flushed cheek. It has a bit of purple almost to it. It gives you that beautiful flushed cheek in the winter. I love it. I have taken a bit of it into my view set palette and I'm going to get rid of the rest because these are huge and I'm not going to use it up until it expires. So that's the only reason why I'm getting rid of the rest is because I've kept a bit for me. Next up, these are old as time. These had their moment on the internet and the internet forgot all about them and I can't forgive the internet for that. These are the Max Factor Power Puff blushes. These still exist, so if you can, get your hands on it. These are beautiful. These have a bit of a sheen to them. As you can see, this is Nude Mauve. This is a uh, more mauve color. Is it Nude Mauve? Yes, Nude Mauve. It has a mauvey, pinky tone to it, but it has a bit of a sheen to it. Not in a shimmery way or anything, but it has a satin finish. And this one is Gorgeous Berries. Again, that flush for the winter time. Beautiful. These products are still basically the same as when I bought them, so I'm super happy. Yeah, keeping them. And if you're wondering, I had my blood drawn a couple of days ago. That's why there's that bruise there. Don't freak out. This is by Kiko. It's the Sicilian Notes Baked Blush in Paneria Mauve. Paneria? Okay. It's a beautiful, mauve again, satin finish color. 
I will just get rid of it, of it because I have other colors similar to this one, but it is beautiful. It's one of those limited editions that come and go from Kiko. You can't count on them to even to recommend, go to Kiko, get this color, and then you get there and it's not there anymore. So, but they have really good blushes and bronzers actually. My camera died, I hope. <laughs> I hope I haven't lost any of the relevant footage. Next up is the Natasha Denona uh, Bloom Highlighting Blush. I don't do coral, but I do this coral. It looks gorgeous on the cheeks. It has that kind of sheen to it, as you can see. I hope you can see. There you go. Uh, it is beautiful, and I'm keeping it. This one, Unpopular Opinion. Um, Physicians Formulas Butter Stuff is not that amazing. I'm sorry, um, but this is a beautiful color blush. It has a very strong scent of, of coconut. Uh, it has a beautiful nude tone to it, but I can't do the coconut smell. It gives me headaches, so this is going. This one I'm torn. This is the MAC Go Play. Glow Play Blush and so natural and it looks like it's going to be that nude, right? But on me it turns a bit peachy, which is annoying. Can we see that? Maybe not, but you have to trust me. It's one of those cushiony formulas, kind of like Colourpop Super Shock Shadows and all that. This is the maybe, this is in the maybe pile, so I'm keeping it for now. For now. I haven't reached for it as, as much as I thought I would. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This one. This is the Bare Minerals Blonzer, which is, according to Bare Minerals, a hybrid between, between a bronzer and a blusher. Whatever gets you through the night, you know? That's my kind of way of living. <laughs> Mine is in Kiss of Pink. And this has a gorgeous finish on the skin. Again, it's satiny. It's not, where are you? I can't even see you. Uh, there you go. It's satiny. It's not, um, it's not too matte on the skin. It looks super healthy and gorgeous and alive and luminous on the skin. It's a beautiful blusher, <laughs> in my opinion. I'm keeping it also, it's really recent in my collection. Friends, send help. What am I going to do with these? What am I going to do? These are the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enlivening Blushes. Uh, I loved the formula. I love how they perform on the skin. Uh, they're not the most long wearing, but they're not the most disappearing act uh, products either. So I was really chuffed with these. The problem is this packaging is not good and I don't grab for them because of that. This one exploded. Everything came out on the back. It made a huge mess. Uh, they kind of dry out. Uh, this one is uh, Island Glow, by the way, which is the one that is for sure going. I can't with this kind of stuff. I just can't. I just think that such an expensive product that one cannot swatch unless by accident you are in London when their pop-up shop is open. Not even the blushes because they took these out of uh, circulation completely. They stopped talking about them and all of that. I think they're reformulating of course or repackaging at least. But such expensive products, they can't, that you can only get online. It feels really frustrating when they fail. Uh, I don't feel that sad for pink soap because, you know, it's a pinky, nudie color. I wish it was more nude. It's kind of going into that pink kind of life. Um, but it's a beautiful color, don't get me wrong. I'm not that sad about this one as I am regarding the mountain walk. So I think I'm going to keep Mountain Walk, which gives me that kind of, you know, flushed cheeks again, but with a more, a more purpley undertone than the uh, Quickie from Milk. Yeah, it has a bit more of purple to it, running through it. So I'm going to keep Mountain Walk just because it's such a, a unique color. 
Pink soap is not my unicorn nude, so I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm keeping this one. For now, when they reformulate, we'll revisit my options. Well, isn't that a Nars? Yes, we have lots of Narses as blushes. -es. I have two. One is Deep Throat. These are minis, by the by, which I think are perfect sizes of blush, in my opinion, because unless you only wear one shade of blush at all, you'll never get through one of these, but anyway. And this one is, ugh, broken, and called Dolce Vita. And this is the color that I want to keep. This is a nudie, mauve color. It's beautiful and it looks great. It has a bit of that satin finish that I really like in blushes. Uh, it's not chalky. It doesn't emphasize my pores. It's not the most pigmented thing, but it's also a mini. And I know that Nars's minis are not up to par in par. They're not as good as the full sizes, or at least they weren't. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of Deep Throat even because the names, Nars, the names. And I'm going to keep Dolce Vita. I also love their kind of lip balms in this shade. Oh, it was beautiful. Now, this one is, um, it's a, it's a not one. So this is by Jouer. This is their blush and something else that I can't read because it has rubbed off. It's a cheek, cheek lip duo stick. Uh, this one is in Amelie, which they don't do anymore. And it has a blusher on one side and a highlighter, a balm highlighter on the other side. The blush is this color, which again, very reminiscent of the um, flush cheeks and stuff, which is great, but it is a very matte, stiff formula. Uh, it blends well, but it's not one of my favorites because unless you have lots, here, there you go, unless you have lots of coverage on your face that you don't mind moving it a bit around and it's going to stay, if you have a bit less coverage, if it's a bit more liquidy, this is going to mess it up when you try to blend it out. And then there's this balm, which is a clear balm. And I realized, and I mentioned this, I think, um, in one of my videos that this balm I found out only works with their foundation and it works wonderfully with their foundation because the foundation is high coverage, pretty matte, and this gives a sort of luminosity to the foundation without moving everything around that makes it look more real skin, you know, hydrated real skin. But it doesn't work with other products. It's really weird. The, uh, the This balm doesn't just, it doesn't, it doesn't show it's, it's shine on any other product. So what I'm going to do, just one thing, this is the full extent of the stick for this size of component. This is how the, the amount of product that you get. And I, I haven't used that much. So yeah, annoying, but going through that, I'm going to take this pop it in probably a palette uh, or something like that to use with their foundation, which I'm not decluttering, I don't think. And I'm going to get rid of the rest, the component and the blush, because I don't use them. I don't grab them. So this one, this one is basically going. My friends, this is the one. This is one of those blushes that nobody talks about anymore. It is done and dusted in the history of makeup, but this was such a beautiful color and I cannot forgive Benefit because they've just released a huge extension to their blush collection, their box blushes collection, which is great, fine and dandy, but they didn't release a color like this. And I'm kind of like, what about Throb? You, you discontinued Throb for no reason maybe because I was the only one buying it, I don't care. And you don't bring it back when you create an extension of your box blushes collection. That's, that's appalling. That's appalling. But anyway, I love this blush. This is that perfect lilac pink color that most people run from, but it looks so flattering on the cheeks. It's so enlivening and cute and nice, and this is so old that it doesn't have 
much pigment anymore. It doesn't it doesn't translate on the skin, sadly, not even with a brush. I can try, but yeah, nothing comes off. So although I, I kind of want to keep it in my makeup history drawer, and that's maybe what I'm going to do. I'm keeping it in my makeup, makeup history drawer and try and use it as a reference also to compare with other products to see if I can find something like this. Again, if you have a dupe for this one, let me know. This and uh, um, the, what's it, what should we call it? The Dusk Blush from Glossier. I need dupes for these two. So yeah. This is, I'm sad to see it go, but basically it's going into my nostalgia drawer. So, yeah. I have two hourglass, hourglass? <laughs> I have two hourglass items right here. One is an ambient lighting powder in dim light, which is this one. And this is the blush in mood exposure. So dim light, although it does look like a normal beige, on my face, it turns peach, so I can't use it as a setting powder or as a finishing powder on my face because it, my face just changes color and it looks like, you know, it looks very different from the next. So I was using this as a blusher, but I haven't, I haven't reached for this for a long, long time, so I'm going to get rid of it. This one I'm going to keep. This is Mood Exposure, again, that kind of lilac-y. Uh, color it's more bright more pink and it's not afraid to go to dip into the lilac not completely lilac but a more pastel -y pink kind of shade and it is the fabulous hourglass formula which I adore so keeping it these two vision flush blushes or vision flushes because technically you, you can use them on eyes cheeks and lips these are from Danessa Myricks I've said that if the color fixes are gouaches or acrylic colors, because they're really opaque, although you can blend them out, of course, these are their watercolors, which are meant to just, again, just use a drop. Don't go crazy. You're not allowed to go crazy in terms of dosage with the Nessimyrex products at all, but it just blends into a beautiful watercolory sheer formula that still packs a punch in terms of color. And I love that in this formula. I have several products from them uh, in this format because I really like them. These are my two blush colors. Uh, this one, the hot orange one is Sweet Nectar. And it's one of those, I don't have lots of oranges. I don't need lots of bright oranges, but this is a good one to have. And this is Ballet Slippers, which is kind of a burnt peach color. I wish it was or it were a bit less rosy peach and a bit more nudie pink. I know they have bread and butter and I think... I thought Ballet Slippers was the bread and butter. They're not the best in showing their colors on their website, their swatches. But I still like it. I still use it. It's still nude enough for me. Uh, so I'm keeping it. Up next, two Essence blushes. And I'm keeping both. Can you imagine this? Uh, this is the blush. In 20 Bespoke, does it still exist in, Essence, um, in Essence's curriculum? I do not know, because they keep discontinuing stuff, changing stuff, and depending on the store where you go to, the gondola has different products. <laughs> so I can't say. This has that nudie burnt terracotta thing that I kind of enjoy when it's more on the cool-toned kind of thing, and it has that satin finish, which I like, so I'm keeping it. And this is their Metal Chrome Blush. I raved about this years and years and years ago on my channel. Nobody listened. Nobody wanted that kind of a very high luminosity kind of blusher with a mauve undertone. And now it doesn't exist because this was limited edition. You can only probably see the reflection, the kind of silvery pearlescence reflecting, but it has a, a deeper mauve 
kind of undertone which is gorgeous on the cheeks and I still love using it so this is one of those precious ones that I'll keep not forever but for a long time milk uh work 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 this is milk work it's a mini it has a kind of peach Ugh! it has a kind of pinky peach color that I do not use uh, or that I have enough of in my collection. So this is going to go. It's a nice formula, lasts well, really good. This is the only size they should have made, uh, in which they should have made the blushes <laughs> and bronzers and stuff. But um, yeah, it's perfectly fine. I just don't use this color. A couple more random sticks. This is Fenty Beauty. This is old. This is Cinnamon. S-I-N-A-M-O-N, -N. so another different way of spelling cinnamon. Uh, this is uh, a toasty, orangey color, more on the bronzy side almost. I don't use this. I've never liked this formula. It feels really chunky and dry on the skin, and the sheen looks so metallic that it emphasizes your pores or wrinkles or whatever so I've never been a fan of this match sticks I love the format never been a fan of the match sticks formula so it's gonna go and this uh, Colourpop blush sticks in mercy me I love this color and you may have seen this featured in my latest view set palette um, depotting I've taken a bit of this and put in there and I'm going to get rid of the rest because, again, it's a cream. I'm not going to use this whole amount up before it expires. So it's the only reason I really like this formula. I really like this um, color. So, yeah, beautiful. Really beautiful. Now, I have three nude sticks. Uh, this is the Nudies All Over Face Color in Sweet Peach Peony. Can we... Can we just stop talking about peach colors again this is more of a pinky peach it has more there you go it has more pink to it uh i'm also pretty dark with my self tan right now but um i don't like this kind of color on me i know it's not uh, a popular opinion but it is what it is so it's going these two i'm keeping forever these are my favorite colors from nude sticks uh these are pretty expensive blushes or all over face colors, but cream blush it basically. Um, and I I adore these, they're so good. Uh, these are the all over face color. Also, these are not matte, I don't think, I don't know. Uh, one is bareback, which is this lid. One is bareback, which is this, this dusty, mauvey pink nude. Gorgeous, I have decanted this into all of basically my my uh, view set palettes because I love this shade. I can't get enough of it and I'm not getting rid of the rest because I want to use as much as possible. And this one, Sunkissed, is a gorgeous, yes, Sunkissed kind of look. It has that burnt terracotta look to it. It has enough brown so it doesn't look too orangey red, I'd say. Uh, it's a beautiful color. It's one of those that you want to achieve just with makeup, never with the sun, but you can achieve it with this product. And that's it. These are staying. Yay, and we're done. Hi, here I am to talk about the um, final breakdown of the products that I'm keeping and the ones that I'm letting go. Um, still have all the swatches in my arm. I look sweaty and messy but that's what we have today sorry but just letting you know i have the hourglass ambient lighting edit and loft palette this face palette which contains a couple of blushes but i'm not counting this one um uh, in this final breakdown and uh of all the blushes that i've shown you i'm keeping 25 which i know is still an exaggeration nobody needs that many blushes um and of those, two are in the chopping block, the Lisa Eldridge Mountain Walk blush, because, you know, and the MAC Glow Play, which I still 
I still have to see if I want to keep or not. And I'm getting rid of 28 blushes. Oh, did I do well? I think I did. More than half. Come on. Tap on the back. Uh, this one, Throb, is going into my nostalgia drawer. But for me, it's as good as going away because I'm not using it anymore. So there you go. These are the maths, the, the numbers. I hope you have enjoyed this video as usual. If you have, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Leave me thumbs up, comment down below. And thank you for enduring such a long video. I really like these videos and I know many of you do too. So yay. And I hope uh, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, thank you for spending your time on me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.